guys, when you guys get out of the uh, this class, you guys are gonna get out of one of these bags, and uh, it's gonna have one of these, which is a little fan set that shows in all 55 colors of the oils. So 55 colors, and you can uh, uh, mix them if you need to. Zero VOC, very easy to repair. Uh, let's say that we did this room right here, and then there's a little scratch in one board. You can just get a piece of maroon pad, lightly abraded, put the oil on it, wipe on, wipe off. That's all you need to do, okay? So easy to repair and easy to maintain. The general idea is you're gonna wipe it on and I'm gonna wipe off the excess, okay? That's the general idea. So you can use, use either white or red pad. <clears throat> What's the difference between the white and the red? So the red is a little more aggressive than the white, okay? So application of the oil, you can apply with a red or white pad, okay? And then the, taking off the excess, you can only use the white pad, okay? So there are three steps that you need to do for application of the oil. The first one is you're gonna apply it. So we're gonna, uh, if you had a room this big, let's pretend this was a 400 square feet room. We're gonna do the edges first, okay? I like to use the puck, the centerpiece of the, the, the pad, do the edges, have two guys, you know, the first one is gonna come in, do the edge. By the time he gets to the end, have somebody behind with a towel, wipe off the excess as hard as you can, get it all off. When we say get off the excess as hard as you can, you cannot take too much off. Okay, until it's dry to touch. So the guy behind you is gonna wipe off the excess, he makes a turn and then just keep doing all the edges. After you do all the edges, you're gonna make a little pot on the floor, put the buffer on top, and you're gonna buff on 100 square feet. If there's one thing I want you guys to get out of this today is working sections. And the reason is, remember the way the, you know, the product works, it's through a molecular bond. When it comes in contact with the cellulose of the wood, it closes the grain, two minutes, it's done. And then it's just waiting for you to wipe off the excess. You have 15 minutes you know, to apply it, take off the excess, and take off the excess again with a towel. All of that has to be done within 15 minutes. That's why we say 100 square feet, because that's about you know, what you're gonna get you know, uh, uh, done in, in 15 minutes. So uh, we did the edges first, take off the excess, then we're gonna drop the buffer, apply it with a red or white. After you do that, you get a towel, a terry towel, put underneath the buffer, and kind of a polish it and make sure you get all the excess off. Those are the three steps, you have to do those three steps. And the very last step is very important. That's why it's gonna assure that you're not gonna leave any excess off. If you leave excess on the floor, you're gonna get a phone call maybe, you know, a month later, two months later, you know, the homeowner saying, my floor looks really dirty, you know, it's grabbing a lot of dirt, it looks cloudy, it's because you left excess, you know, on the floor. Very easy to fix, you know. Uh, if it happens that you left excess uh, um, within six days, all you're gonna have to do is just drop a little oil on the floor, you're gonna reactivate the oil, then you're gonna wipe it on and wipe off the excess. So just tell your homeowner, you know, 36 hours, you know, 36 hours to walk on it, because if you, if you say 36, they're gonna walk in 24. So tell them 36 hours to walk on the floor with the stocking feet, six to seven days, you know, to 100% uh, cure. Within that six or seven days, no cleaning, only cleaning with dry mop. The LED oil, and I'm applying the clear, the clear here. All we're gonna be doing, is we're gonna put this about an inch, away from the surface, what we just finished. And you're gonna go over the same, same spot twice. So I'm gonna go back and forth. And remember, you know, for flooring, we're gonna have uh, the big machine, not a handheld like this. But uh, this is just to show you guys how the product works. There's no ozone emission from that? No ozone at all. Some guys, they ask me, can I use a, a, you know, a Duracell or, or any other stain under the Rubio oil? And you cannot. And the reason is our oil has to touch the cellulose of the wood. And a lot of the stains in the market, they close the grains. And the oil won't be able to you know, touch the, the cellulose of the wood. It repels the, the, the water, so. It's 100% cured. My name's Scott Streeter, I work for Pinnacle Floors. Um, just attended the Rubio seminar here at City Floor. Very informative. I thought the guy knew what he was talking about. We had a bunch of questions. We just did a Rubio job. Um, we had some uh, questions that we needed to answer and, uh, and he did a pretty decent job of answering the questions. So um, I thought it was good. You come to a seminar like this, you get a working knowledge from him and then you take it and then you try and, uh, you know, 
do replicate it so that you can uh, get things to work real well for you. But I think, I absolutely think it's going to be a, a demand for it. My name is Lewis. I'm from Connecticut. My company is uh, called Braswell the Hubble Force. And uh, I'm over here in the city for us uh, to take a look at the, the monocoat. And then um, I have a lot of customers that are looking for, and I saw today is a very good uh, power. And then um, I'm mean, very happy. And now I'm going to recommend all my customers and friends to, to use that. Before I'm afraid to use that, right now it's, and then he showed me it's a very, very good product. You know, I can definitely can use that. Oh yeah, after that I'm very, oh definitely, yeah. I'm very happy. Thank you. So, if you guys want to come in and look at this hickory with a gray on, 